Hi guys, it's Lisa's Finding Redo. I'm a 58 year old retired school teacher and need to find a redo and I've found that redo by reselling used clothing, shoes, hard goods, and making YouTube videos. So today we are here for an unboxing and I'll be honest, I'm not sure which one it is, but I'm gonna find out. So let's get started with my apparel box. I don't know if it's the thrifty apparel or the regular one. This is Coastal Blue. It came from Bargain Hunt. It was $3 there, but it's a cute little swimsuit um, top. Sorry, Brian. Cute little swimsuit top. And it is a size small, but it is new with tags. I always like me some new with tags. This is a sleeveless top from INC International Concepts. It's a petite and it is a small, it's a pretty little blouse. Looks like so far the first two have been summery and I'm looking for wintering, but I pull out this and it is definitely more of a fall and winter color. And it is by George. It is new with tags, 3XL. Got a little bit of a musty odor, I mean. But that's, that's a nice shirt. I'll probably put this in my flea market booth. Um, I ha have a lot of luck selling men's larger sizes. It was only $7.77. $7.72 to start off with, but I won't get much. But I wouldn't take the time to list it, and I'm going get, to get it going. Get it going. 3XL probably will sell. Okay, the next item is by Champion, and it's just your basic blue tank top. So, so far, summer, summer, su summer, 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 kind of summer. But that's what you get when you get a mystery box, guys. And I didn't pay. If this is the thrift, if this is the regular apparel box, I paid twenty four ninety nine. If it was the thrifty apparel, I paid fourteen ninety nine. Okay, this is a Chaps Classic. Sorry, you can't see that again. Chaps Classic little top. It's a women's large. It's a mighty small large. I probably will put this in my booth too because as a woman who normally wears extra larges but can wear some larges, that wouldn't fit on my thigh. So I want them to make sure because people don't read. I put put um, measurements in every one of my listings and I get so get them back saying that they didn't really pay attention to the, the measurements. This is a Gloria Vanderbilt Casuals. Feels, let's see what it is. Let's see what the content is. Up here, did I miss it? Well, I don't, I'm not sure what the content is. It kind of feels like a linen cotton blend, but I'm not sure. And it is an extra small. The only thing negative about that. I know that it's Gloria Vanderbilt and it's probably vintage, but it's still a pretty top. Okay, the next item. I'm hoping this is the thrifty apparel box. Because is, I'm gonna have to take this off. They keep sliding down my nose is a blouse by Retro, Retro, Retrology, Retrology, and it is a 1X, so yay for the big size. That's a pretty top. That will be going into my booth. Definitely, that will get sold there without any bigger problems. Okay, this is a the Mode, is that right? The mode, uh, it is a large sweater. It feels really soft. It's cotton, but I mean, it feels very soft. So I don't know, I'll have to see if anybody's buying La Mode. If they are, then I'll list it. If not, oh, hey, I found the bottoms to that swimsuit. Yay, it's even better. Let's see, yep. I'll take that. These are the bottoms to that, that pink swimsuit I showed you to start off with. Very good. Okay, the next item is a pair of corduroy pants. And these are by Shein. 
um, now they've got them styled really pretty cute. They've got the down at the bottom, got a little puff there. I mean, the styling, those would be really cute come fall. Uh, it's a medium. I wish they were like a large or extra large. I would keep them because they really are cute. But they're not. They're high-waisted. I should be able to sell them. I should. Yeah, so far it's okay. So far it's okay. Will I make my money back? Yeah, I should. Okay. The next one is... Trico's St. Raphael. It's a men's quarter zip uh, sweater made in China. And it is acrylic. Acrylic feels a lot of times so soft that sometimes I get it confused and think, oh, that might be cashmere. Maybe not as quite as soft as cashmere, but pretty soft. Okay, and the last item from this box is a top from Kimmy and Kim. I had never, I've never gotten one of these. Never found one in the wild. So by Kimmy and Kim, cute little tunic top in a small size medium. Okay. So, that would be a great fall. Kimmy and Kim, I really don't, I've heard y'all speak of it, but I don't even know if you spoke of it nicely or if you spoke of it otherwise. So, thank you for watching today. Let's see, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 11 if you count the swimsuit all together 12 if you count them as separate so so the other day i opened up a box from goodwill blue box well i wasn't certain if it was the thrifty apparel or the regular apparel box which is a ten dollar difference in the price so i decided to go ahead and open this box to let us know and so we can see if we can tell which one's the Thrifty Apparel and which one is the regular apparel box. Thrifty Apparel being $14.99, Apparel being $24.99. So, let's get started. I went ahead and cut it open. I have not looked in it, but I cut it open because I am a klutz. Okay, the first top is a Van Heusen men's top. And I don't normally sell these in my eBay store. So these will be going, this will be going to my flea market booth and it will sell. Okay. The next item, I see a tag. I always like to see a tag is by Sweet Wanderer. Okay. And it is a cute little dress. Uh, let's see, I was gonna show you that. The um, tag itself looks like that. They got it at Ross's. It was $21.99. I don't know anything about this brand. It's in a, the belted and it was kind of joined up in the back. But it's a cute little dress. Um, an exposed zipper that's asymmetrical. Yeah, I like that. I like that. That's cute. I will pro likely sell that in my eBay store. Okay, the next item is Nike Golf, and I like to sell Nike Golf. Um, I don't always get a ton for it, but it sells. In this pretty color, I need to get this done because people will start playing again in the fall. I mean, they're playing now, but I need to get it listed because, so, so, let's see, I've got one for my booth and two for eBay, so I think I'm doing so pretty good so far really has made it nice being able to put things in my booth um it just makes it really nice okay this is lee sport and it is a 3xl i will check comps on this but i'm betting this is going to my um flea market booth i may be wrong new with tags we'll see and if I'm not putting it in my flea market booth, you notice I've been putting it right there. 
Okay, the next item is a Forever 21 little skirt, little bitty. It is a small, a really small, small, but it is elastic. Or it does have stretch to it, not elastic, but spandex probably. Let's see if it says real quick. Yeah, I bet it's somewhere. It's over here. I don't know. I'm not even going to look for it now. But it's cute. Uh, it's little. We'll see. I'm not sure about that one. Okay. The next item is from Marshalls. And it is by Texture a thre and Thread. It's a Madewell company. Never heard of this. But, you know, it does have the word... I'm sorry. The word Madewell right underneath it. It was sold at Marshalls. And it was sold for $12.99. So I'm thinking I'm not going to get a lot of money for it. But I probably will still list it because I can put the word Madewell in there. And that may pull some people in. Okay, the next item is a pair of dress capris, I think. This is by Josephine Chauss. Or Chauss. Um, they are a size 8. They're cropped. They may not be capris, but they're cropped. Let's see. But they're flat front. They would be cute with a pair of heels for, for work. Okay, the next pair of pants is also new. And it is by Foot Joy. I assume that's Foot Joy. These are new. These are cute. These are a 30-30. And I assume they're women's. I don't know. They got a really deep pocket. But I assume they're women's. They do have a UPC number. So I, hopefully that'll tell me. But they are the perfect tap fit trouser. Um, but a nice new with tags golf brand. Put the door. So can you tell yet which one? If my first one that you've already seen or this one which one is the thrifty apparel versus the apparel? Can you tell? Hmm, me either. Okay, the next is also a new item. This is from Old Navy. And it is just a black t-shirt. And uh, it looks real soft. And an extra, extra large. So I'll get this listed. Probably won't sell for much, but I'll get it listed and make my money back. Okay, this is a cute pair of tight sweatpants, whatever, from Charlotte Russe. This isn't, the only problem is it is um, new with tags, but it is extra small. So that's the only problem. I like it. Just um, if it was a large, that would be really good. Okay, we've got a couple more items in here. Okay, another, okay, another black, and I can do multi-listing since they're both new with tags. Another Old Navy black Lux t-shirt. So, that's good. Saves me on the listing. And the final item is the All in Motion, I believe Target. All right. But it is new with tags, so All in Motion. New with tags, men's top, um, Target wanted $20. I believe that's a Target. If I'm not right, let me know. Um, but they wanted $20. So I'll have to see. I don't, that smells fine. I always oh, sniff men's. I don't know why. It's new. Why would I be sniffing it? Let's see how many I got. One, two, so two plus one, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So twelve, that's wonderful. So depending on which one it is, then to me, you tell me, do they not look pretty close to the same? My favorite item from this one was the Foot Joy pair of pants. New with tags, Foot Joy. I should do uh, well enough to um, make most of my money back on that. What do y'all think? 
Did you like this box? Which one did you like better? First one or second one? Whether that was the thrifty apparel or the apparel. Let me know what your favorite item was. So, I want to thank you for watching this video. I think I'm kind of out of it. But I do want to thank you for watching this video, and I appreciate it. Um, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos by me, you want to see more unboxings, more of my numbers, more hauls, more tips and tricks, then please subscribe to my channel. But I need you to do me one favor today. I need you to go out and find your redo.